Matt Boyce kept the Yorkshire bowlers at bay with a gritty century on the opening day of the latest LV County Championship match to be played at Grace Road. The returning Matthew Hoggard won the toss against his former colleagues and decided to bat first, leaving it to Greg Smith and Michael Thornley to make the most of ideal conditions. Smith had done all of the scoring in the first half an hour, but he was also the first to be out, leg before to Steve Patterson with 20 runs to his name. The rest of the morning followed a similar pattern with batsmen working hard to get themselves in before soon getting out. Thornley and Ned Eckersley moved the total along to 50, but then the latter went to the same way as Smith off the same bowler for four. Steve Harmison then got the big wicket of Ram Naresh Sarwan, the second division's leading run-getter, who'd added only eight to his tally when he was bowled by the Durham low knee. This was a big game for Yorkshire, who dropped out of the promotion places after their last match with Derbyshire was drowned out. Their confidence would have been sky-high after reaching finals day in the T20 for the first time too. And they went to lunch with four wickets under their belts as Thornley edged Moen Ashraf behind for a patient 31. So Leicestershire came out for the afternoon session on 98 for four and had to regroup. As with last year, they started this season with a win but have not tasted success since. They looked to Boyce and Shiv Thakor playing in his first game of the season to get them moving in the right direction. They survived for 23 overs in adding 68. Thakor looked good for his 35, but then he drove an Ashraf half volley straight to Andrew Gale in the covers to go with the score on 166 for five. Now was the time for Yorkshire to hit home their advantage, but instead Boyce reached the 50 mark for the fourth time this season. This one coming off 117 balls, that being his sixth four. Wayne White took 25 balls to just get off the mark, but then he exploded into action by taking 14 off an Azim Rafiq over, including this six. Batsmen have been waiting for a long time to do their business with the sun on their backs, and Boyce and White wanted to make the most of this opportunity. They took the total past 200 and then brought up their own 50-run stand after tea. In trying to keep his side on top, White then perished, mishitting Azim Rafiq to Harmison at mid-on after making 28. He was the latest to get in but not go on, but Boyce bucked the trend at the other end by moving into the 70s. But he then lost Paul Dixie for six when he clipped a leg side ball from Harmison to Phil Jakes at square leg. That left Leicestershire on 239 for seven with the second new ball now due. But again, Boyce found some useful support from Claude Henderson. Boyce was like a conductor with his colleagues turning up with their instruments only to pat them away before the song had been finished. Henderson at least got through a few verses before he lobbed a ball from Patterson to Joe Root to go for 26 and end a useful 8th wicket partnership on 50. Boyce was on 89 at the time of Henderson's dismissal, but another boundary off Azim Rafiq took him into the 90s for the second time this season. He waited patiently on 98 for something to hit off Harmison, and to the last ball of an over, Boyce drove the former England man down the ground to secure three figures. It was a terrific knock from Boyce, who got to his ton off 221 balls, 11 of which he'd struck to the boundary. Nathan Buck had stuck with him to get him to his milestone, but then the tail ender edged Anthony McGrath to Gary Balance. But Boy survived with Hoggard until stumps were drawn, by which time Leicestershire had moved on to 318 for nine, with Boy still there after more than five hours at the crease on a magnificent 106. Day two will tell us more about how good that total is on this pitch.